Yo, welcome back for another episode on Chef Q's Travel Recipe. Today, we're checking out another popular spot in San Diego. It's Seaport Village and Portside Pier, which are pretty much on the same walkway stretch. There are many small gift shops, eateries, and entertainment for many tourists that come to this area. So, let's see. Hey, what is up guys? We are here in Portside Pier. So it's north of Seaport Village. Uh, as you walk down a little bit, you're gonna run into North Harbor Drive. So this is a little bit down from the USS Midway Museum. Walk down a little bit further. Uh, we're gonna run to Portside Pier. This Portside Pier has four restaurants in there. Uh, well, three restaurants and one coffee shop. So first one is we got the Catch Grill and Tap, which is here. Where is it? They have, uh, so it's, it's basically you can go in there, uh, buy a drink and walk around. Uh, and then next to it is the port side coffee and gelato, which is just a, a walk up window, which just sells coffee and gelato. Um, next to it is the Miguel's Cochina, which is a Mexican, uh, I say Mexican fusion restaurant. I haven't been in there yet, but today we're gonna go. We're actually gonna go to the um, the uh, what is it? Bur Burganti, Burgundy. Today we're actually gonna go to the Burganti, Burgundy. I don't know. I'll listen below. <laughs> Anyways, it's a seafood place, so let's check it out. We tried to get here early and actually uh, get a good spot, but we've been in line for an hour and a half. The sun already set, but the horizon is really nice. Uh, as you can see in the clip. Down here, as you walk further, there's a lot more museums, uh, ships and stuff uh, that you can, can visit and buy tickets to go in. Me, myself, I've actually never uh, gone into those museums, even though I live in San Diego. Um, Yeah, so do try to come down here during like sunset. You get the perfect view, um, eat at the perfect restaurant. Everybody's looking at me because I'm some kind of weirdo wearing this freaking straw hat walking around <laughs> inside the restaurant and like a, a fancy ass restaurant. But uh, let's check it out. Let's check out uh, Brigantine. All right, now we are inside. Well, so we are inside. We just ordered drinks and appetizers so far. Uh, everybody's looking at me weird because I'm wearing this hat. <laughs> I'm wearing this straw hat. But here, you can take a look. I'm gonna throw it around. There you go. These are the inside at night. I'm pretty sure it's a lot better during sunset. We got a fire pit outside. And during sunset, no, sunset. Straight up. Oh. No, full 360. Uh. Okay, we are back. Um, so what do we order? This is the menu. We got oyster bar. We think we ordered with the... We start with the... the, the, the. Yeah, I'm gonna take this out. I'm gonna take this out. It's kind of... Kind of inappropriate for this type of uh, restaurant, right? So we start with a grilled octopus plate. Uh, our drinks just got here. What do you order? A pinot colada. So my wife, Stephanie, just ordered a pinot colada. And I just ordered a, a Carl Strauss beer. It's very busy for a COVID. The tables are pretty spaced out to six. Yeah, they're six, they're six feet apart. <laughs> um, the atmosphere in here is very nice. It's very open. So basically this place opened up to a whole patio. 
Uh, that side is water, this side is the sidewalk, so, but they really fix up this place. Uh, within uh, a year, a year and a half, I think. Nice place. Let's try out the food. Okay, so we're gonna start with the oyster appetizer. Uh, these are half kumais and king size oyster. Let's start. This is um, their uh, cocktail sauce. Cocktail sauce. And this is this is red wine vinegar. Ah, red wine vinegar. I usually eat um, oysters with ponzu sauce. Japanese uh, restaurant, you know, ponzu sauce is way better. The uh, the red vinegar is, I think, it's too sour and uh, it has too much of a citrus tartness taste to it. So I'm not gonna use it. Use some lemon. And usually I use sriracha, but uh, Tabasco sauce it is. Put some of this on. Hmm. I guess that's it. Ooh. Okay, ready? Hmm. Two my oysters are really sweet. They're a little bit smaller. I know a lot of people are used to eating like uh, Pacific oysters, which are bigger, but you get sick after like five pieces. These are really sweet and crisp taste, uh, and it's not like slimy taste. Okay. Okay. We're gonna go to King Side oysters now. Same thing, I guess. I guess we're supposed to slurp. Forget this part. Mmm. These are sweet too, but they have a different texture. A little bit similar in taste. Shit. We got a. I squeezed a freaking lime seed in there and I bit it, and it's kind of bitter for me, but. But I can tell that um, it tastes very fresh, very cold. It, it doesn't like give you a full mouth of oyster, like slimy oysters. But yeah, it tastes very similar though. Okay, on to the second course. We got the Spanish uh, grilled, wait, grilled Spanish octopus. Okay, let's check out what we got here. We got the octopus tentacles. We got the kale, uh, some tomato, then we got the grilled chickpeas, or actually crispy chickpea, which is, let me try this. It's deep fried, deep fried chickpeas. And we got these red onions, but they look like they're pickled. They're pickled. Pickled um, red onions. Hey, we got little chunks of. Um, I think this is. Ah. Try it. If you don't know what it is, try it. Then you figure it out. Right? Chorizo. Chorizo. That's why they call it Spanish grilled octopus. Just by adding chorizo in, make it Spanish. <laughs> Okay, make it fancy, right? Oh, look. This is red sauce, like creamy sauce on the bottom. Look like... This is like the, the taco sauce that I made. It's like a smoky uh, chipotle sauce. Alright. Get this huge thing. Let's see how tender it is. Alright, very tender, very tender. Usually these octopus, they tenderize it and then they um, they pound it up really hard to make, they tenderize it, they pound it really hard or they give it a really good massage after, season it, then they boil it or steam it, whatever they call it. Some people even uh, uh, pressure cook it to make it uh, soft and then they grill it. 
Mm. Super tender. It's like tender as like um as a scallop. If, if you eat scallop, that's what it tastes. Uh, that's how tender it is. They really did a good job of uh, tenderizing this, and then uh, I can taste the smoky texture, a little bit salty, uh, salt and sugar. I meant no salt and pepper. <laughs> uh, let's see what they have here. Uh, how much is this? Thirty-four dollar for this dish. Swordfish, grilled swordfish. Uh, in here, let's see, they have a big old overgrown steamed broccoli. That's that's probably uh, 50 cents, uh, maybe less. <laughs> and then on top of this, now the butter's melted, but this, this was a chunk on top. It looked like foie gras, but it wasn't. It's actually, let me try to taste this. Mm. Okay. Mm. It's avocado and lime butter. Uh, I think, what are these? There's chunks of these things in here. Chunks of these in here, avocado and lime. This might be avocado. Mm. It's avocado. So we got chunks of avocados in here. Lime, butter. And then they just put it on top of a grilled, uh, grilled fish. So we got the grilled fish, uh, it's marinated. I don't know what they marinated, let me try that. But this is uh, Parmesan risotto. Risotto is kind of like, kind of like um, mushy rice, <laughs> I'd say. I think they poured too much uh, water in this and they call it risotto. But um, for us Asian, we see this as like really thick ass congee. <laughs> Let me taste this. Mm. Parmesan. Yeah, it's like Parmesan rice, mushy rice. Let me try the, the fish. Uh, the fish is very juicy. You see this? It, it's not dry at all. Feel this? It's not dry at all. Okay. Mix this with a little bit of risotto and butter. Mm. I would I thought the fish would be dry but it just melts in your mouth. Mm. Very flaky. This fish compared to um uh, kind of like salmon. Swordfish is very fatty and fat texture because it's a big ass fish. It's like a uh, salmon that melts in your mouth. Okay? Uh, well you already know what Steam broccoli tastes like, right? I don't have to eat that. <laughs> Let's move on to the next dish. So this is a crab stuffed jumbo prawns, uh, which comes with one, two, three, four, wrapped in bacon um, and mashed potato. This mashed potato. This is a jalapeno white sauce. It tastes like a jalapeno. Like a, a jalapeno white sauce. <laughs> That's what it really tastes like. But it's very really spicy. The sauce is spicy sauce. We got green peas, some carrot. Carrot, this carrot, green peas. And this is like a small squash. Ah, steam. Oh, that. This is the main. Hmm? Let's cut this up and see what happens. Wrapped in bacon, this is prawns, mostly stuffed with crab. Yeah. Stuffed with crab. This is a crab flakes. I don't know what kind of crab yet, but yeah. Just like this. Oh, come out. Mmm. Mm. So you get the the Outside, the texture is crispy, crispiness of the bacon. The uh, it's an applewood bacon, so it's like a, a smoky texture too. And we've got the crisp, the crisp of the shrimp. Anyways, my camera died, so I have to use the iPhone now <laughs> to continue. 
And that's a good. Dip it with the sauce. What I have. It's jalapeno. It's like jalapeno, spicy, creamy sauce. And the uh, mashed potato. Mmm. Mm. It really mixes well with the uh, You get the spice. You get the um, mushiness of the uh, mashed potato, the crispiness of the bacon, and the shrimp texture and the crab texture, it's all blended together. Yeah, a little bit of everything. Mm. And these, these are just green beans. Just plain old green beans. I don't need to talk about this, right? <laughs> Anyways, let me enjoy my food. So after dinner, you should probably take a stroll down to Seaport and burn some of those calories off. Take in the fresh sea breeze that San Diego has to offer, you know? Or if you're too heavy to budge after that hearty meal, go on a ride with the American Set Low. Of course, you have to pay premium American price for it. Well, that's it for this episode, guys. Make sure to subscribe and follow Chef Q for more amazing travel, food, and recipe. Peace out. I'm sexy and I know it. I'm sexy and I know it. Yes, sir. Why? Girl, look at that body. Girl, look at that body.